Hello friends, in this video, we are learning about the math shortcut tricks to work out the SAT problems. So we've got a question which is a simultaneous equation in two variables, that x and y. And the ultimate goal is to work it out and get the value of x and y. We can do this question in two, three ways. Like generally, most of the students, what they do is, I'm gonna show you that particular method and then we'll work out and do the trick. So how are we going to solve the simultaneous equation is we try and make it with the exception that we can either do it with substitution and elimination. So if we go with the elimination, which is much easier, we multiply this with three and this equation with four, which will come down to, if I multiply this entire with three, just to make one particular coefficient of X or Y equal, this is going to give me 12. If I multiply three times three is nine, three, six uh, is 18. Similarly, multiplying this with 4, it come down to 4 to the 12, 16, and this is going to be 4 for the 16, that is 136. Now, how do we eliminate? We need to have a common, which we got it, but the sign has to be negative. So, we are going to change the sign of the second equation. So, the negative makes it positive. This goes out, plus 16 minus 9 is 7, and this is going to give you 14, 1, 54 so y is nothing but 154 over 7 y value is going to be 22 upon dividing 154 with 7 then generally what we do what the students do is they take this y value and substitute in any of this equation so we'll do that 4x minus 3 times 22 is equals to 6 4x minus 66 which is multiplied 3 with 22 4x if you shift it or add 66 to both sides you're going to get 72 x is equal to 72 over 4 so then x will be 4 times 1 and 4 times 8 remember after getting x and y we need to work out and do this value to get the evaluate x minus y basically so this will reduce and give us to negative 4 that is our solution and that's how you're going to waste your time and that's how the students do it but i'm going to show you the trick that works pretty well so what you're going to do, you take up the simultaneous equation. Remember, we need x minus y. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add this, keeping the signs intact. 4 plus 3 minus 3 minus 4 will also give me 7. Minus, 38 plus, minus 34 plus 6 will give me negative 28. Now you can see this entire equation can be divisible by or can be divided by 7 or if you can take 7 common. So if I divide with 7, I'm going to get x minus y is equals to negative 4. Bingo. So that, that much easier it is. So SAT exam, SAT exam basically tests your logical reasoning. And they just don't want you to waste your time. You cannot take chances to waste your time in doing the questions lengthy. You just have to be a little bit logical in it. So that is how you do it to get the answer. If you can check, both answers are same. Coming back to one more question which we can do it a little easier and a little bit logical it is which says what is the value of a if a is a times a times a is equals to a plus a plus a now many of the students when they do it in a hurry very what they do is they try to ended up getting the wrong answer by writing a is equal to one which is not the case so the solution if you do a little bit give a time and reasoning to it you get it is a cube and this is nothing but 3a because it's an addition and this is the multiplication we have the formula of exponents which says when bases are same power should be added whereas this one you add up the coefficient you don't write it to the power now this is one so since equality is there bases are same you can cancel 1a from here you have a square is equals to 3 you get a is equal to square root of 3 this is how you answer it and that's much we hope you like the video please watch some more videos for sat enjoy learning math spread the knowledge thanks for watching